to Maypole Farm and today's job is to sort out the grass field we need to get that limed or at least the bit that we've mowed we need to get limed um, and then we're going to do some contracts and we're also going to look at the fact um, I mentioned it in a previous video I have now populated most of the farms on Maypole with animals at least I'm going to have a video coming on soon on how to do that um, and I've started putting some vehicles in as well I don't think I showed the vehicles in this video um, but we are going to have a look at some of the farms that now have animals on them um, they are owned by a non-existent farm so it means they don't show up in the HUD for me um, or in the animal menu and because animals don't die in FS22 they just exist without being fed um, but yeah I kind of like it I think it's really cool um, we're just getting the the rear mower washed and the Fiat washed and we'll get this put away in the shed um, I'm trying but doing a really bad job at keeping this yard tidy it's uh, yeah I don't know why I'm finding it harder on here. I think maybe it's because everything's so small and close together. And I'm using a lot of the kit every day. Um, like the mowers are used pretty much every day on here. So maybe it's that. I don't know. Um, not sure. But we're going to grab the spreader. Um, this video, and I don't think I do it in this video. Um, but this prompted me to think that I want to stop using... Um, sort of cheaty loading um, so we only have one front loader tractor at the moment um, and I want to use the Fiat Agri to do the spreading and that means I have no way of loading um, lime or fertilizer or whatever in um, so in the future we're going to get another loader so that I can start doing that manually and I kind of decided that after I'd recorded this so it's not in this video but it will be in future ones um, unfortunately the bale wrapper is in the way of the lime that we have i'm hoping this is enough lime to get the the grass field it just needs a little bit of uh, extra ph i guess um yeah just just needs a little bit of lime to bring it up to a good level so uh, we're gonna get that done and then yeah there's not a lot going on at the moment we are in pretty good place with all the fields um, so, going to do a couple of contracts. And, uh, the other thing that I've done, and I think I mentioned that I did it before, is I've taken out the auto milk sale because we can get a better price if we sell it ourselves. Um, because I think the script takes an average or something like that. So, we can get a slightly better price. So, we're going to get a milk trailer later on, and I'm going to start setting up some auto drive stuff. Um, I haven't used auto drive in a while um, but that's going to be interesting getting back into using that um, have had some success on here um, there are some things that I do slightly wrong which I'll talk about as I do them um, and I'm happy to go back and change bits of the route that I've created as I go through so I'll talk about those as I create them so that you can maybe learn from my mistakes because it's you know it's definitely not an auto drive tutorial it's just me setting stuff up that i feel like might be useful for me on here it's not going to be a complete network because i tend to not use it for lots of stuff um it's going to be handy on here for getting kit around the map like doing contracts i'm doing a lot of contracts on here and it's a really spread out map and it'll save me some time moving kit around because i can use auto drive to send stuff around the map um, so we're just having a look at how much pH we need to add. Um, so it looks like um, about 0.3, maybe a quarter. Definitely not the 1.875 we have at the moment. Um, so we're going to just adjust that rate down to... 0.375 I would have maybe gone for 0.25 looking back but hey that's what I went for back then um, so this gameplay was recorded best part of a week ago I think um, recorded it while I was on holiday and just doing the uh, the commentary now um, and yeah so we're getting some liming done I've had to shuffle around the schedule of videos a bit um, if you watched yesterday's 
adding in video I would have been talking about doing small silage bales which is coming up in an adding in video soon and found a little funny in that there's um the XML for those bales is not set up properly in maze plus I don't think anyone's using them at the moment um, it was the first time I'd used them in anger when I was going to do a tutorial on them and yet yeah, found a little bit of a typo so not going to do the tutorial yet um, I can fix it in my version easily enough but yeah I'll, I'll hold off on doing a tutorial on them until we get it fixed so right in a minute I've had to shuffle the schedule around a little bit um, we need more lime so my plan is that tomorrow's video maybe um, if I get it done we'll be looking at how I added in the animals onto here and onto Attingham um, into the farms that aren't farms that I own so just using store deliveries to get some lime delivered um, there are a couple of ways you can do that um, you could turn your game into a multiplayer game and have another multiplayer farm own all those farms and have animals in them I didn't want to do that so um, I, I, I do it I'll, I'll show you how to do it in a video tomorrow but uh, yeah I'm sure there are many ways of doing it I have a way that I found works that I'm happy with um, and I think it will allow me to buy the farms if I want in the future if I do I'll remove the animals before I buy them anyway because we don't want to gain free animals or we can pay for them that is another option so um, as far, there's, there's lots of farms on here that potentially we could look at expanding into as we go through time so yeah it's been kind of cool I meant I've flown around the app a bit more seen a few of the other different farms um, and yeah I think I think when we do the hay contract which is coming up soon you'll see some of those if not it's in the silaging contract that i do later on so um, yeah this this we're in a really weird phase on it next video I think next video uh, yeah next video on here we're going to get into harvest uh, because i'm going to push through june to july because there's not a lot going on as i keep saying um and some of the fields are then ready to harvest the maize is ready for silaging so july is going to be pretty busy which is good um i have silage harvesting kit picked out now um thanks to my consultant pete who watches these um and you'll see that when we get to it something i've not used before something i might have done a bit with it something like it before and um, we are going to need to put a a, a clamp in I think we're going to go for the far end we have to get the diesel tank moved but that's probably better than having to move all the beets I think and that way all the feed is that end of the yard as well so that's what I'm thinking I have a clamp picked out um, we need a bit more money to pay for it but no that's what contracting's for which is coming up so uh, and the milk selling that's, that's going to help as well um, it's one of the things is at the moment is mostly any grass working contracts and also um, grass seeding contracts and I think that's part of better contracts um, and I'm I, in the next video I actually try and disable it because it's a bit frustrating that lots of the grass fields are if a contract comes up to seed them it, they end up the contract ends up getting completed and they get reseeded which means they're not available for a contract for grass work then which is I say, a little bit annoying but that's the liming done so we've got some lime left so we'll stick that in the shed um, it's not a problem we're gonna have to re-lime fields anyway so I'm not really worried about that um, and I think I'm getting back into the swing of things in only one and a bit of videos um, so I recorded the the mini size bow tutorial I mentioned yesterday which was when I spied the um, typo in the data file so we'll do that video again when we fix it in a public release at some point um, e streaming um, the the 
Maze Plus Terror Life streams. Not this week. Um, I'll try and get you an update soon. Um, we're having a team catch up this evening for you. Um, assuming you're watching this on Thursday when it released. So, yeah, something we'll cover then. And, uh, looking forward to that starting again, or starting for me, because I'll be playing rather than just rambling. It's uh, going to be interesting. Uh, trying to drive and crash less and read chat and talk all at once. Um, I quite but the reason that a lot of the time I record the voice later is because talking and playing at the same time is quite hard. I find um, some people don't find it hard. I do. So just got the lime unloaded. We we'll get that in the shed. Need to get those fertilizer and seed pallets put away as well. Um, and yeah, I think where the where the bale trailer and the cedar and stuff is is where we're going to put the clamp. Mm, kind of my plan. We've obviously got all the silage bales down there. Um, when we do that, I'm going to get. The, the Volvo wheel loader that was released prematurely as part of the update for the Platinum DLC. Um, I think that's going to be perfect for on here. It's the right age. In fact, it's older than we're playing in. It's pretty cheap. Um, we'll probably have to do it on a higher purchase as well, like most of the Git we're getting recently, um, unless we can pick up some big contracts to pay for it um, with paying for a clamp as well. But yeah, um, and then we'll probably end up feeding loose silage. We'll get a silage fork for that and use that, I think. I know what I'm thinking. Um, eventually, we'll go into making TMR, I suspect. But for now, we're not going to. We're doing the indirect grazing for... Uh, well, Tom Pemberton was talking about that, and uh, I can't remember what they called it. Uh, nope can't remember um, but yeah we're, we're keeping going with that through the summer while the grass is growing and then winter we've got the bales and the um, beets and stuff which we'll feed so that's the plan at the moment I've not decided yet whether we're going to make our own grain mix or whether I'm going to sell the crops that we've got and buy grain mix I need to check the prices now that we updated everything in the previous update to Maze Plus and see whether it's economical to buy it still or whether it's better to mix our own. If we're going to mix our own I'm going to need to pick up a barley harvesting contract I think because we've got oats and wheat planted but we will need some barley so and if we do mix our own I'm going to be using uh, Ursin Rainer's grist mill or grain mill, I can't remember what it's called now, bad, um, the little um, grain grist mill that Hurston Rainer released on Mod Hub, that's about the right sort of size for on here, you know, does a thousand litres of mixed, that'll, that'll help, um, yeah, so just have to wait and see, I need to check the pricing basically, and then I will decide, but just got those uh, the fertilizer loaded into the perch spreader the seed, pallet of seed to put away and just dropping off the spreader now and uh, I think we're going to go and do some contracting now I think after a lot of faffing um, I know we're going to put the bale wrapper away so I am really enjoying playing this farm I mentioned it in yesterday's video um, for some reason it's significantly less popular than Attingham. Um, whether that's just because Attingham is a really popular map still. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, not sure why. But definitely less popular. So um, I did a post as well on the community channel tab, whatever. It'll have appeared in your feed if you're subscribed, hopefully. About tutorials. Um, so there are a few ideas that cropped up on that. Um, I have a few other ideas as well, and I've had some suggestions from the patrons. Um, but if you've got ideas for tutorials, um, either things that I've missed in Maze Plus, 
things that you'd like to see revisited from tutorials I've done in the past or ideas chuck them in the comments below because my list of ideas is quite short at the moment I've got to admit so um, yeah something else I want to say thank you to the YouTube channel members and the patrons because I am not sure if I've put that in the edit but I'm going to do it now thank you guys for supporting the channel I really appreciate it it's something that I want to mention um, that I'm going to be changing with that is um, talk about that in a minute because we're about to see the uh, the farms with the populated animals so we've been doing a hay contract up at the what I think is the main farm on Maypole and you can see they have some sheep um, so this one I haven't populated with vehicles yet that's quite time consuming so um, but the sheep are there the cows are there you can see the cow field has been replanted which is one of the things I was saying about it's annoying the better contracts has that feature um, got some chickens there got some pigs and some horses as we go around this yard this is a really nice yard this is one of the ones that I've played this was in fact the multiplayer that I had um, with the uh, with some of the guys from the discord channel but yeah we've got um, the two workers going on a hay contract so brought a fit over because there'll be bales to take back obviously um, and yeah got the two workers going and we're done so we harvested uh, a total of 26 bales 14 of them need to be delivered to complete the contract and 12 of them are for us and what I did find is that after the update I think follow me is charging wages um, which it shouldn't be because we have the mod to, to cancel that so I'm just going to collect the contract at 14,000 ish pounds and then I need to add back in the wages that we've been charged um, so you can see yeah there's uh, there's quite a bit there but I think it's about 1500 pounds we need to add back in there we go in fact it's 1683 and um, because we're doing the wages through the 10,000 pounds a month or 5,000 pounds a month for each worker no yeah 5,000 pounds a month for each worker is what we're doing for wages so um cancelled out the game's fee um, and now we're going to have a look at setting up some auto drive um, want to head up to the store I did mention it and I didn't realize I was doing it in this video um, we're going to get a front loader fitted to the Zetor or Zeta um, so when I added auto drive in I let the let auto drive generate the route from the um, it uses the work of roots and stuff like that so got that done and then some of them aren't joined up probably you can see here um the one coming out of here is not actually connected to the road network so we're going to do that and this is one of the things that i didn't do brilliantly um so basically the curves i made too round um, going in is fine coming out I found that sometimes they hit the hedges um, so yeah don't don't make them as round as I have um, if you're wondering why the mouse is offset it's because the resolution of my laptop is 1440p and I play and record in 1080p and that's why the cursor is not quite right um, planning to get a 1440p monitor at some point and then I can switch to recording in 1440p the reason I don't is because when I play connected to the desktop I have a 1080p monitor and I don't want to be switching between resolutions all the time so just going to create a little loop that brings us up to the shop I still need to pick those bags of stuff up um, but what we're up here to do is to get a front loader console fitted to the Zettel by the front loader and also by a milk tanker and which you'll have seen in the thumbnail because that was the thumbnail because I forgot to take a good thumbnail still really bad at doing that so. um, but yeah we will uh, back to what I was saying about members and patrons and stuff got to the point where the number of 
patrons and YouTube channel members means I can't have everyone do everything that I have been doing. Um, so the way it works at the moment is they all get added to the list of landowners and workers. And certainly the list of landowners is too long now. So what I'm going to have to do is the patrons and the higher tier YouTube channel members will be landowners and the lower tier channel members will be workers. I haven't implemented it yet, but that's what I'm having to do. So hopefully you guys are happy with that. So putting the front loader console on, um, getting rid of the front weight, because that seems like a bad idea. We're gonna put wheel weights on to help with you know loading jobs i have not checked whether wheel weights actually make a difference in fs22 in fs19 i don't think they did but we will see we're going for them anyway it's only 500 quid and then 1500 for the quickie front loader console so we'll get that added on and then we'll go and buy the cons the front loader so um i think i go for the smallest one um because obviously it's a very small tractor and we're just going to go for it in the black i think um because i couldn't pick a red that matched particularly well so uh, seven grand for that um, and that then gives us the option to have a front loader to do loading up cedars and uh, first spreader that kind of thing yeah just just something that i decided i wanted to add in with the whole we don't do auto load and all that kind of thing it seemed like a good idea to me to uh not magically load cedars and stuff so there we go i think that fits a little bit smaller might have been nice but you know it gives us a bit of reach which might be you know probably going to be useful and then under animals i have downloaded the uh, smp 3.0 which is a 10,000 liter trailer that will take milk which is going to be perfect for selling our own milk um once both sets of cows are producing we might have to do two trips a day um it's got so that we're producing about 7,000 litres of milk a day, which is pretty nuts. You know, it's uh, we're putting more food in, but we're getting more back out again. It's how Mace Plus works. So I think I'm going to create a little loop for the yard here, just so we can use Auto Drive to send tractors back to the yard when we need to. Um, the way I tend to build auto drive networks is I put stuff in as I need it rather than sitting and, you know, spending. I know some people really like building auto drive networks and I'll happily spend a few hours doing it. I tend to do it as I do, as I need it on the fly. Both methods are equally good in my mind. So we'll just hook that up to this little one way track. Um, okay. But yeah, I've got, I, I tend to get a bit carried away with my curves a lot of the time, but um, it'll do. This kind of thing is okay. It's uh, more, yeah, so just linking the way in as well, and we'll link the out route off that to, um, off to the left as well. There we go. This one seems to be behaving a little bit funny, I think, because it's a, it's a two-way track. Um, but that'll do. That'll do. Just gets us out of the uh, out of the yard. But I'm not actually going to use this tractor to run the milk up to the dairy. Um, we probably want to put that on the Fiat Agri. Bit bigger, bit faster. Um, definitely too much for the little Z tour. But I wanted to get the front loader done up at the store, so make tents. Let's jump in the Fiat Agri. Can't believe there's 20 hours on that tractor already. It's, uh, it's ramping up quite quickly. Yeah, 
we'll uh, hook the milk tanker up, get it filled up, go to the dairy, and then set up an auto drive at the dairy as well. Uh, which ends up having to be a reversing course, which is always fun, challenging, interesting. Um, I don't know if I covered it on camera, I got rid of the tree stump that was from the hedge as well for the entrance we created there. Um, so we'll get the milk loaded up and head over to the dairy. And then we're going to get on with a silage contract. Um, yeah, I don't think I cover much more of June after this video. Maybe a little bit in the next one, but mostly we'll be jumping ahead to July with some harvesting. There's 6,000 litres of milk to sell. It's pretty nice. Those cows, the ones we've had since the start, are getting close to being sort of peak maturity, so 28 months and older. We're up at the dairy, hit record, and uh, yeah, a bit of a course going. I initially try and do it as a drive in, unload, and turn round, and that really doesn't work. There is not enough room there to turn around. If you were of the cheaty nature, you could maybe plow through the hedge. Um, but not going to work for what we're trying to do so um, it would be nice if the wall was a little bit further to the right so that I could turn around but you know do end up getting a nice reverse drive course set up just over three four thousand pounds for the milk there and um, that's that's fine okay that's right that's how, that's how, you, how you turn no, I know, no, I crashed. Um, and I have a bit of a brain fade on uh, re-engaging the differentials and stuff. Um, you might have noticed with the update to VCA, um, the little um, the HUD on the bottom right um, shows wheel slip now, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I just really struggled to uh, to remember key combination. I think I was using everything but the correct key to enable four-wheel drive and diff locks to get us off of this wall. No, that, that, that was right. You wanted to go into that menu and you wanted to scroll down. Mm -hmm. yep, so differentials are on, so that's control C which brings up the auto drive menu, auto drive the VCA menu. Now we want to go into the key menu. There we go. Oh, it's painful watching yourself back sometimes. Scroll down, all the way down to VCA. Keep going, that's auto drive. Keep going, going. There we are, and uh, we want control and then those keys. So there we go, four wheel drive on, rear diffs on. And we're off. Not my finest driving, but definitely not my worst either. Um, can't remember if I back out of here or if I turn around. Looks like we're just going to go backwards and forwards for a bit. Uh, there we go. And yeah, this is going to have to be a reversing course. So let's delete all of these waypoints because they're useless. Uh, delete those as well. And we're going to have to record that bit all again. So probably delete that one. There we go. And then if we turn around, we can set up a new reversing course for the waypoint. So we can have a look at how I do this. Um, I actually need some tweaking afterwards. Um, but we'll just link up to the last waypoint. The key with the reversing course is to make sure before you go into reverse that you get everything nice and straight. That really helps the worker. And that's what I don't do here enough. So I needed to have gone forwards a fair bit more. 
um, before I went into reverse. Mm, I tend to like to reverse really slowly doing these so that um, I don't make mistakes with the driving, try and keep the reverse fairly straight. And I don't put the waypoint down yet. So reverse to where you need to, shift into forwards, pull out and finish the course. And then I'll come back and put the waypoint down. I find that works a lot better. So we'll stop about there and then we'll link these up to the main road. Uh, again, I'm a bit over enthusiastic with how round I make the curves here. I would make them a bit shallower, personally. Um, that should prevent present less issues and then just unhooking the trailer because I need to drive the tractor back to put the waypoint in. Then we just want to get so that we're linked up to the last waypoint in the line. There we go. And we'll add waypoint. Or target. We'll call it dairy. Um, as I said, I will slowly build this network up over time. Um, tends to be how I do it. Um, the change I have to make is quite small. I think I cover it in the next video. Um, and I'll talk about it then. But basically, I end up having to move that last point before we switch into reverse much further out. Um, but you can see here, we, well, we do make that corner. So since I finished that bit done a fairly big signage contract up on field 53 um, there were a lot of bales um, I'm pretty sure at this point I've delivered all of the bales we need to complete the contract and I'm now loading up the excess and I'm going to try and get them all on our bale trailer there are a lot of them didn't make a note of how many um, but yeah there's quite a lot to get on the trailer so this could be fun I'm not going to show you all of it because it did take me quite a long time without auto load um, but I'm just going to show you a bit just so you know you'll be able to tell from the loaded trailer these are definitely not auto loaded so I know I shouldn't stick bale forks into wrap silage bales me, I haven't actually tried them in 22. Um, I'm pretty sure in 19 the the other type of bale grab was fairly awful. Um, but we've got a big old roll of duct tape, so we'll just cover up any holes that we make. Okay. And this trailer is not quite wide enough. I think at this point, there you go. That's how many bales there were. quite a lot of them. I am going to unload them in the next video. Um, and you can see, unfortunately, when I was trying to strap some of them, I managed to unwrap them, which is a bit annoying. Um, I've already... No. Yeah, so it was a little bit annoying. Um, I will feed those to the cow straight away when we unload in the next video. Because this one's got quite long. And I've actually managed to record the commentary in one go. But I could do with stopping. So, yeah. Um, I am going to say thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. We do not smash like buttons. If you smash it, you need to buy me a coffee. Comments, questions, or suggestions below. Uh, and if you're not ready, think about subscribing. And I will see you next time. We just need to claim the contract. 26 grand, really nice payout. Um, yeah, I will see you next time on Hattingham Park.